Aspen has a reputation for glitz and glamour. Love you, Mariah. I love you so much. You know, the billionaires have replaced the millionaires here. But it's so much more than that. It's always been a place of pioneers, people who came out here with this Western pioneer spirit to start all over again. It was this wild and free-spirited Aspen that Nancy Pfister belonged. When I met Nancy, she was beautiful and vivacious. She turned, wherever she was, into a party. And this is where all the rich and famous people come. She could turn the Black Plague into a party. <laughs> Sorry, it was a rough night. Like Nancy was an Aspen princess. Her father owned the ski mountain. My name is Mark Seal. I'm a contributing editor at Vanity Fair, and I call Aspen home. All doors were open to her. Yes. She was known by people all over the world. Well, she dated Jack Nicholson, and, and she dated Michael Douglas. Everyone knows that. There's, there was only one Nancy Pfister. I was at my desk that night and heard the scanner call, and we heard the word murder, and we looked up the address, and sure enough, it was her. It was all hands on deck, adrenaline pumping through this newsroom. Well, the information kept changing, constantly changing. A common thread that we were exactly. receiving was that anyone who had ever met Nancy Pfister was a potential suspect. Can you just say that again? I want to make sure I heard you correctly. Anyone who ever met Nancy Pfister was a potential suspect? You didn't want to be on Nancy Pfister's bad side. She was a tough, strong woman. Woe unto you who messed with Nancy Pfister. Even Nancy Pfister was really no match for a killer who approached her at her absolute most vulnerable. Nancy Pfister was murdered in her sleep with several blows to her head. Everybody wanted to know what. Everybody wanted to know how. Everybody wanted to know why. And everybody wanted to know who.